speak. Okay, well, the meeting is called to order at 9.34. Um, let's see, uh, are you all here? Uh, uh, Randy. Chuck. And Devin. I'm here. Uh, I'm yeah. here too. It's nice uh, that you are. Um, it's even nicer that I, I'm alive enough to uh, do this. Anyhow, this meeting is being recorded by the city of Greenfield. If any other persons present are recording this meeting, you must notify the chair at this time. The chair and the board of assessors reserve the right to remove or have removed any person, persons for profanity, threats, or continued disruption during a meeting. So um, have we all looked at the, the minutes that Chuck prepared before? We're doing that, Chuck. Sure. Good job. Uh, should I be the one who says they look good and I say we should accept them? Um, I move to so let Randy do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a motion that we accept the meeting uh, minutes as, a, as they are. Okay. This meeting. I'll second. And, uh, all I'm in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so those meeting minutes are approved. All right. Well, let's see. Um, public comment. Um, do I hear a motion to open? I, yeah, I I'll make a motion that we open public comment. Yeah, I take it nobody else is on the uh, call. Uh, just Stephanie. Is Stephanie hey, on the call? Hi, Chuck. Hi, Jim. Hi, Randy. Hi, Devin. I'm just Hi. listening in. <laughs> oh, cool. Yes, you do. <laughs> Hi, guys. All yeah. right. Yeah, close it out. <laughs> uh, I don't see her on the screen, but that's okay. Um, all right. Uh, hello there, Stephanie. Um, okay, uh, motion to open public comment. So moved, seconded yep. by, do we have a second? Yeah, it was Chuck. Okay. I second. I've done, I've done okay. that. Good. All right, um, speaking time is three minutes for each person, state name and address, okay. Um, let's see, I'm going to be of a business meeting with abatement applicant. Do we have one? We do have an applicant that's going to be coming in. I told them, uh, after 10. Okay, great. And, um, let's see, assessor office operations. So yeah, we're continuing on with, uh, the abatements. And that's our priority, although we're slowly getting caught up with deeds also. Um, but yeah, it's just been getting out to all of the people at uh, Solar Way, basically getting all those appointments done. And I was able to do everything that I could up to this point. Um, there's a couple that I asked for an extension on with the people because uh, there was a, a death in the family that had just happened. And so we're giving them a couple more weeks to contact us. But otherwise we're getting to the point where we're close to wrapping up. Um, you know, we did just to one of the other people that we spoke to, um, you know, that had come in at a previous meeting. We have an agreement with them. We're just waiting for them to come in and sign a letter and, um, and that will be good to go. Um, there's a couple updates to bills that I need to make. Um, you know, we've got the solar situation with the Cumberland Road property that I'm, I want to start talking about again and make sure that that's, that doesn't go away because we got to resolve that. Mm -hmm. But with the interruption of uh, our director of finance, you know, I guess it falls more to me to get that to the finish line. So I'm bringing it up just to, so you guys keep on me and remind me to make sure that we do get that to the finish line. Um, Let's see, otherwise we're just finally getting past. We, we've had David working on the plans from last year. So he's got all that information together and now has uh, done whatever splits or merges need to happen, gotten the information to Eric. We talked about that a little bit at the new growth meeting, or he did. I'm sorry, when you say plans, what do you mean? So any plans that happen in the previous calendar year Plans, so, plans, site so plans, site plans. Oh, yes, oh so new growth. Stuff. Yeah, plans okay. that went to the planning board okay. and were approved and then recorded at the Registry of Deeds in the calendar year of 2023. We're are now getting entered here in 2024 for the beginning of fiscal 25. 
So you get your plan and, and, and you know, uh, the calendar year and really it takes effect in, for the fiscal year, the following fiscal year. Right. And so those are done. And uh, yeah, I was saying how lucky and fortunate we are to have someone in house that knows how to do that. Usually we're sending that out to like CAI tech is who we have that does our GIS and mapping, but actually Eric does a lot of it right inside that their application to and not not every town that there's only one other that I've worked in that had someone that knew how to do that. And that was the director of IT <laughs> or she ended up being the director of IT. So who, anyway what's the plans in uh about Catalis? Um yeah, not not in Catalis. So that that's what David does. He'll update this stuff that's, in that's Catalis, what, which is basically Patriot. Yeah, so that's what and, you're saying and, is uh, bring in but, those drawings. Yeah, so bring in those drawings, but the the mapping part of it. So updating the GIS with that information, all the property lines on the GIS. That's what um, Eric. Yeah, that's what Eric Tora. And yeah, and that's what I was saying is we're fortunate that we have him and someone in-house that can do it. Yeah. And um, right. yeah, so that just got done. And that's, this is that time of year. Um, also in the office, Devin has been frantically working. <laughs> well, not frantically, but <laughs> You know, getting done another deadline that we have is today we have to enter the MDM one and um, in Gateway the 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 city's way to communicate yeah, with yeah, the Department yeah. of Revenue. Yeah, yeah. MDM one. Uh, there's all of the abatements that we've granted, or pardon me, exemptions that we have granted. Oh, yeah. Um, get the reimbursement for that. You know, there's a process to it, and so that's the process of getting recording what we did exempt and then submitting it to the state, and they don't. Re reimburse us a hundred percent, but they do they do a pretty good job for uh, helping us out, so that the overlay isn't getting hit quite so hard. So the MDM one is the exemptions uh, uh, refund, give us money back yes. the document. Yeah, basically the word. There's a separate one for veterans, one for yeah. um, all you know veterans and the other exemptions like blind and senior and surviving spouse uh, and, and the surviving minor and so on. Reimbursement, that's what I was looking yeah. at. And then also there's another one for exempt motor vehicles, the motor vehicles that we exempt. Mm -hmm. So. Thank you, Dad. Yes. Yes, she that's took the initiative to get that done without me even asking her, so. <laughs> Good to go. She's, uh, yeah, <laughs> helping up and helping out to get the things in the yeah. office that need to be done. Yeah. Way to go, so, um, rah rah. Yes, <laughs> rah. and so just then yeah. all of the other things that are going on that I think that we're aware of the different. Uh, we've got three ATB cases that are going to be pending now. So we have uh, the twenty four Church Street. There's uh, I don't know the address, but it's Auto Zone, and then the other uh, nursing home. They have all applied for uh, ATB. The Arbors. The Arbors. I no, it's not the Arbors. It's a different Char one. Charlene Manor. Yes, it's Charlene Manor. I, yeah, I think the Arbors is different. Mm -hmm. um, so we also have to do some other follow up with other people that we talked to or had in in our meeting, um, and you know, kind of had things up in the air. And I, Jim, it, we, you were working on some comparables and that type of thing. So we need to talk about that, but I guess that's more executive session. That's great, exactly. yeah. So um, what else? Uh, just getting on all of the lists that we've that discovered or identified of inspections that need to happen. So once I'm clear of this, I'll be able to concentrate on getting some of that done or recouping some of the personal property accounts that I see that didn't get bills and getting those out. So that'll be what I'll be concentrating on. Um, so we can, if if I may, um, we, we can talk about some of that when we get to the yeah. I'm in the topic. Things up at the wrong time. Just oh, uh, just um, I, on on staffing. Uh, any progress on getting a new clerk? Um, we haven't started yet. We're waiting for the budget to be finalized. Okay. Which I think is a meeting that's going to happen tonight. Ways and means at least this tonight, and then we'll go to the council. Um, I'm not sure if it's Wednesday. Uh, but we're getting close. And then once that's approved, we're all set to go. So I've got an assistant assessor job description. So it comes down to having the adequate job descriptions. And, and um, okay, so maybe an executive we can talk about. Yeah. Yeah. So the, I, there's one for data collector I've been trying to get from another town. Uh -huh. 
um, and even reached out and MAAO and no one has responded. And so I'm going to continue my quest so I can, you know, or, or we're going to have to create it or, you know, look at the assistant assessor and I'll, you know, customize it and make it more toward field work. Um, but yeah, those, that, that would be the three things. And then, you know, as I said in the past, I don't want to wait too long. Let's see what we can get. And if not, then we need to just, you know, if there's no qualified person out there that are interested within a few months, then I think it's time to, you know, start training our own qualified personnel mm -hmm. and just, you know, we need a, a, a good person and then, you know, hopefully we can get that. Let me start that. Let me start that anyway, just as a. Start what? Uh, if, never mind. We'll talk about it later. Okay. A, a question. I, I, I can't remember where the uh, notion of a GCC intern came came up. Was that in the growth meet, new growth meeting? Um, I don't know, but we did have an intern from GCC mm -hmm. for the uh, city last year. Um, and uh, she ended up, I think she didn't uh, finish, but it is something that you know, they're aware of and we, they had something going at GCC and we, we got an intern for, you know, municipal uh, education, you know, for them to see all the different opportunities that are here. And she spent a lot of time up in the finance department, but also came down and helped me. And I did my best to kind of give her an idea of what would be going on and what was what happens in our department. She was actually helping when I initially was sending out all of the applications. What was her name? Her name was um, just her first name. Uh, Aliyah. Okay. And uh, yeah, so she, or no, it was Alina with an N. Alina. Okay. And um, yeah, she was great for a little while, but, um, you know, I'm not sure what happened. I think something happened and she, her, she had to go and work for the family business because something happened. So it was unfortunate, but um, definitely something we should talk to. I don't know who it was at GCC that contacted us. But maybe I can talk to Janine and ask her to follow up on that and see if we can get someone again, because I think it was a good idea. And there's a lot of great jobs in this building that are great opportunities for people that just, you know, you never hear about or you don't think about when you're in college. So there has been a movement over the last decade, let's say, to get that, uh, you know, information out. And there are things that are now starting up and including this to to let college students know and make them aware of, you know, these other opportunities. So we'll see what happens there. But um, yeah, an intern, even that intern was like not for any specific department, but she was sort of like a floater in there to learn and see about all the different departments. So I don't know if we could get one just for our department, um, but at, at least we could get have access to them part of the time. And I think that became a challenge too, uh, is keeping that person busy since it was the first time they didn't really, um, you know, they weren't as prepared. They burned through everything that they thought would take a lot longer to show her, you know, in, in a very short time. And then kind of, she was hanging around and that was part of why I got the opportunity because I needed manpower. I was alone at the time. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, but it was still, it was great. And I think that, you know, she learned a lot. And helped out a lot too. I mean, at that time, when you're alone and someone, you know, it's just it's a big deal. Even you know, you just go like this, and it's just the biggest thing. You know, it's it's something else that got done that you didn't have to do. <laughs> well, the reason I I bring that up, uh, I mean, aside from you know the staffing issue, um, there's this thing at GCC called um, Senior Symposium, and um, these are a series of courses, um, you know, that I think are uh, by and large offered free. And one of the things that occurred to me is, is having a, um, a, a senior symposium, by the way, they, they go for a couple of hours. That's about it. Um, and there's one today on chat GPT that starts, I think at 4.30, 4.30 to 6.30. And um, what I'm thinking about is, is proposing to them a um, senior symposium on, you know, assessment. What do you think? Hmm. So two hours of talking material? Uh, yeah, I mean, it would probably be uh, an hour and a half of talking material, but uh, I'm guessing that there would be uh, a lot of interaction. 
So, and I think I've expressed about other output, because you're saying, you know, we have some hours now at the community center and you were talking about maybe something at the Going library. At the library, yep. And, um, you know, and this is another thing, I think um, any outreach is a good idea. And the more we can get information out to the public and get situations where they're looking to participate and, and hear from us or hear about us, mm -hmm. I think would be a great opportunity. So I move support. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I support that. So if we could somehow, if you want to um, take the initiative to work on that, or you know the right person to contact, um, I'm all for whatever awareness and outreach that we can do. Board supports. You've been authorized. Oh, uh, so moved. Um, okay, I'm, uh, at the senior symposium tonight, I'm going to find out more about that. Uh, as far as the library goes, uh, I'm just thinking about the best way. Uh, the library has, has been doing an awful lot of promotion, and I want to make sure that uh, we get plugged into that. Um, is, is the timing right? The timing right? Well, you know... I mean, are, are, that are, depends on what the when the timing is. So we are we're getting into supposedly a a, a little bit of a lull but once we get past the abatement season in our uh, in our in the office. You know, I mean, not really because we got so much inspection and, and that type of thing to do. But as far as uh, you know, other things, this is when we get our opportunity to, if we are behind on, for instance, permits, to get caught up on that type of thing. Uh -huh. And and just other things. So um, I mean, we that's not really a reality <laughs> for the most part because we have so much going on. Yeah. And even with Devin, she's got a lot of stuff just keeping her busy that I'm assuming is going to take at least a couple months, or it's going to take her right up until we get into this point where we're preparing to send out all the exemption information and, and again. So, well, the the timing issue to me is is there. Anything we say to the folks, will it be useful to them in terms of not just understanding where assessments come from, but also in terms of um, uh, applying for exemptions? Uh, you know, that, that's that's no. Well, so it's actually a good timing as far as that goes, because which just before we'll be able to, to apply for the next fiscal year. So I don't think any time is a bad time to talk about exemptions and, okay. and get awareness out there for people. And right prior to the fiscal year, hey, this is coming up, you know, okay, we talked about it last year and we've gotten as many people as we could. And we even have a couple more that we're going to uh, hopefully uh, sign off on today for people that, uh, you know, qualify and need the help. So, okay. um, you know, it's never a bad time except for like, you know, actually right now, even or for April, when you've just missed the deadline for the previous fiscal year is maybe not the best time to bring it up. But, you know, July 1st is a qualification date. So by the time we get something put in place and ready, you know, we're a month out or a month and a half out to start talking about it. And I don't see a problem with it. Let's start the awareness as soon as possible and, okay. you know, follow through and follow up um, throughout the year. Yeah. Uh, Chuck, let's let's talk about what an outline might look like. Sure. And, you know, and I, I, what I'm thinking about is uh, the stuff that you do. Um, will inform the stuff I do at the uh, at the library and put the two of them together and then you add some other stuff um, that may be the uh, senior symposium. But I'll, I'll find out more about that. Okay. Great. Thank and, you. And before we go, go public with any of that, Randy, you'll have a chance to uh, see it and modify it, you know, do your thing. One of the things that we also talked about recently is you were asking about... Uh, was it Norwood Mass that had such a great uh, response and to their senior work off program? And I, so I called them there and asked them about it. And um, really the only thing that they were doing that we weren't was putting something out in our mailing. So we sent out the tax bills and a little flyer along with that or a postcard that talks about exemptions, that talks about the senior tax work off. We're doing that? No, but let's, um, that's, we should. Yeah, that sounds uh, great. Yeah. And that's my brain up now. Cause we uh, have to put I move we do that. To make it go through, <laughs> you know, we'll have to talk to the people that do our, um, the mailings of our bills and do some coordination. But, you know, that's a couple months off. So let's start talking about it now. 
Um, and then that's a, you know, a great awareness thing. Although we want to get the word out about senior tax work off, but <laughs> really it's kind of, uh, it's not a bad idea to keep talking about it. Even if it's too late to apply for June, let them know, Hey, for next year, this is what's happened. You'll be able to apply, you know, in November or whenever it is. I know that we're changing things so that they can start in January. And so, um, you know, that's a really good idea. An experiment was putting something else in there. And then even if we're just talking about exemptions or whatever, you know, so, um, you know, timing wise, we are quarterly, but we send our bills out twice a year. And so the ideal time to send out the senior tax work off would be for the second quarter, because it's, you know, you get the in October and then that's right before when you're going to be able to apply. So, if we do it in July, we might have to do it both times. So good. So um, good. You know, add something to it. I don't know how much that will add to the cost or anything like that, but that's the stuff that we'll have to find out about um, and and coordinate before we get to the point. And that will be, you know, mid-June is when we're going to, um, or like the third week in June is when those bills will, will be going out. I'll start working or trying to have everything ready uh, or start working on things on the 10th uh, to get everything out of Patriot and then into Munis, our billing system, so that the bills are ready for a file to get sent. It's, you know, when you're doing the whole uh, thing, I mean, it's a little more cumbersome with the, with the final uh, and the um, actual bill, but with the preliminary, there's still a lot to get together and coordinate. You know, not only with myself, but the collector's end and, and you know, with accounting and make sure that we've got that all in place so um yeah we do need a little lead time and so at least by the 15th is when i want to be done i'll start working probably on the 10th to get the files and everything created and in and, and accepted and make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to um but so we have to be ready prior to that so that you know we've already talked about and have if we're going to put something in mailing we've already you know we've got it mapped out a month ahead of time it's sort of why I'm bringing it up now. <laughs> I so, couldn't be more supportive. Yeah. If there's anything that I can do to help you, that I think that's the, a great idea, super good idea. We should definitely do that. Yeah, and that was one of the things, or the only other thing, because they were talking about different outreach, and I was like, hey, we have that. Actually, you know, one of our assessors does this a two-hour thing on Thursdays. <laughs> so we're, we are, and with what we did with GCTV, uh, or not GCTV, but Greenfield Housing and CATV, and uh, the the Council on Aging, with, uh, you know, that was a great effort. And um, I think we can even, you know, some of the other things that I had thought of was getting into the banks, and I don't know if we ever ended up going that far. But I had contacted a couple of them, and they were supportive and said, oh, yeah, we have this table, and we could put up a display on this yeah. table. Yeah. And um, that's what my thought was, like, you know, where where do the seniors go? We got to get them where they go because they don't all go to the, the Council on Aging or the, the senior center, you know. That, that insert with the bill, though, is so good. Yeah, exactly, because they're going to see that, you know, that. And so the other places like banks and grocery stores. So I hadn't gone to, like, Big Y or, um, you know, any other places yet. But um, So you'd like to have that if we're going to complete that between the before the 10th of June? Is when we'd want to have something um yeah as far as a mailing something yeah. to put in with the bills i'd want to have it ready for the 15th mm -hmm. or something because the mailing will go out you know the third week or they usually send it prior to get it there for uh july 1st so just you know when we're getting to the second half of the month is when we would have to have everything ready to go and um coordinated with uh ap jones who um princeton sends out our bills adams does is that right? Pardon me? Did you say Adams? No, I said AP Jones. Oh, AP Jones. Okay. Yes. Okay. And and the the contents of the insert um, will it just go over the different programs and uh, say the amounts? Uh, or the, we have to create list? what that insert is going to say. Okay. I mean, you have your standard sheet that uh, you guys shared with me, like when I went to the senior center that has yeah. all the available exemptions and the amounts. Yeah, we can put something together. And, uh, I think it's just such a good idea. You know, we'll figure out whether that it will be an extra sheet, a letter, or if it can be just a card, or you know, we'll have to coordinate on, you know, what is cost efficient and uh, yes, still gets does the job. Yeah, still does the job. Yeah, whatever's cheapest for sure. 
I mean, just a piece of paper that had just that the piece of paper we already have that just has the exemption rules, that and an application folded up, stuffed in there, that could do it. I mean, if it's going to cost money or be difficult to develop a custom thing, we don't have to. Yeah, so that's great. Anyway, okay, or kind of. Okay, so the uh, list of exemptions and. Um, and I guess the, the senior work off information too, right? Yeah, again, it's just a flyer we already have. Yeah, uh, but you know, I mean, we, we need to be careful uh, about the logistics, you know, how, how big is this thing? How heavy is it and what's it? Print going? on front and back. Pardon? <laughs> Print on front and back. <laughs> well, I, you know, that's part of it, of course, <laughs> you know. No, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure Randy and Devin will figure it out. Yeah, okay. All right, uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, do you wanna go on to the business? And then after that, we can like according to the agenda? Uh, well, I'm looking at the RRG report. We talked about staffing, we talked about budget. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, the assessor's night content and timing. Uh, why don't we, uh, mm, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what to do with some of these things that are just, uh, uh, standing items, whether they ought to be in a parking lot, and we pick at them. Uh, you want to put assessor's night in the parking lot? Yeah, I think I think we ought. Nope. So moved. I second. Okay. Moving. Am I striking that or? Oh uh, well, I mean, it, is that in the same sort of bucket as um, what you were just talking about about the um, uh, outreach at? Um, yeah. Are we going to do that yeah, as a GCC, library? GCC library. Right, GCC. Yeah. So that's yeah. in the same bucket, right? Yeah all part of outreach possibilities yeah which we already talked about or or, or, or maybe uh, maybe that that's really the catch-all outreach yeah, and, exactly which we already talked about standing item okay yep yep okay uh let's see um is there anything to report uh with rrg uh, other than what you said that david was working on uh getting the plans in with uh eric um yeah that's about it i mean i'm coordinating with Harold on a couple of different things. So he's helping with the uh, ATV applications and um, also he's he was in on the meetings with the solar and, and that type of thing. So he's helping on a couple of different levels or trying to communicate and figure things out um, regarding the personal property effort and um, how that's gonna go because we're, under contract with RRG for them to do the personal property, but not to this extent. And so we're, you know, Harold is, is willing to adjust the contract. And so we're just kind of figuring out where that's, where that is. And then also we need to kind of decide where we're going to go after that. If we would continue with RRG doing personal property, or if we wanted to make a change and, um, you know, that's all stuff that we need to be talked about when we have more information. Mm -hmm. We got together, I did get an RFP, like a template yeah. of an RFP. Uh, With the RRC? Yeah, RRC. Yes, the different place. So, mm -hmm. Where yeah, do we stand looking on into, that? we don't have a procurement person right now, but I'm, well, one of my next moves will be look, looking to make sure that we're following all of the procurement rules and advertising appropriately if it's of a certain dollar amount. And um, Jim, you're asking about the, the different amounts. Yeah. And, um, you know, getting a code for a larger number of accounts. And um, it doesn't make a difference um, with the code that he gave us. Uh, you know, the additional accounts, if, if we said, well, give us a quote for more accounts, we wouldn't be saving any money. It's the same dollar amount either way. But it isn't that that was that was my problem. I, I looked at the uh, the original quote was for 750, uh, you know, 750 accounts. And then there was a, a, a quote for what was it? Another hundred, I guess. And the price per unit uh, for the 750 was different than the price for 800. And I thought I remembered doing that math with you. But then when I did the math with the um, the rep from the other company, it worked out differently. So I'll have to 
get with you and clarify and make sure that I know okay. what I'm talking about or, yeah. or um, you know, just, uh, you know, make sure that that's the same way. But part of it, you know, I'm not sure it might have been to keep the, the quote under a certain dollar amount too. Yeah. So I'm not sure, but those are the things that I'm thinking about as far as that goes that okay. we'll have to, you know, get together on and make sure that we're, we understand things. I yeah. guess. Well, I, you know, I, I agree with you that it, it, yeah, the I thought I had done is... the same thing too, but then when I had uh, looked it up or when I had him on the phone and then I did the math myself, I was like, wait a minute, that's the same thing. So yeah. anyway, we'll figure it out. And um... okay. I, I guess all I'm, I'm urging is that the uh, price per unit ought to, uh, you know, remain the same. And in fact, when you get into higher volumes, maybe the price per unit ought to drop, but at least uh, consistency is what I was looking for there. Okay. Okay. That that was that was really it. Yeah, and price per account actually um, came up in the conversation with Harold. Mm -hmm. Harold, I guess it's the proper pronunciation. I keep getting it wrong, but um, you know that's a what we're paying our RG, and that was one of the things I've been asking for, like an itemized list of, you know, the breakdown of the total amount from RG. Uh -huh. And so he had mentioned a certain uh, price per uh, account also, mm -hmm. you know, that was much lower, but of course that's not for the same service because they're going out and doing the actual inventory. So um, that will be another thing, that another part of the conversation, deciding on where we go from here is what it would cost us if we did go with a different company. Yeah, wasn't that the 60 grand or something like that that we talked about? No, it was less than that. Yeah, I was saying anywhere between like 40, yeah, yeah. 45 okay. to 60. Okay. That's basically kind of where we're at. Okay. Hey, Harvard, I was just out looking for you. Glad you found us. I found you. Yes. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Thank you. So this is um, the one member of the public that, uh, I said we'd be coming in. So we're talking about the office still a little, and we'll finish up in a few minutes and be able to get right to you, okay? All right. No problem. Thank you. I'm Chuck. Reed. Chuck, I'm her. Hi, her. Nice Good to, to meet, meet you. you. I'm the assessor's clerk. I'm Devin. Devin? Nice to meet you. Good yeah. to meet you Hi. as well. And Jim Thank has you. a cold. That's why he's on TV. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Hi there. And, and the name, I'm sorry, the name again her. is Herb. Herb. Okay. Great. Well, Thanks. welcome, Herb. Um, so let's see. Um, yeah. So we talk about yeah. Can, can, can we uh, skip to her? Um, and come back to the agenda. Um, yeah, if you want. So that would be we'd be need to go to executive session now. Uh, was that Stephanie? Would it be okay if we go into executive and come back to the meeting later? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Thanks, All right. So yeah, we'll probably. <laughs> Do what we had done in the past was suspend the recording and the uh the video and the audio right but you'll still the meeting will still be going on you just won't be able to see or hear anything and then when we're done we'll come back and make an announcement so just listen and you'll hear when we're back thank you okay uh, i move we go into executive session second uh, i think we need to I, close public comment first uh, i move we close public comment all right and so i'll second public comment Okay. Aye. All in favor? In okay. favor, aye. Now we open now we'll move executive, to executive session. session. And so, okay. you know, aye. And, you know, all in favor, okay. aye, yes. So we're all okay. set. I'm pausing it, okay. Session. All right, okay. here we go. So, yes, pause the recording. Resume recording. Okay. Recording in progress. <laughs> I ran out of juice, so I'm out of my laptop's out of the meeting. Yeah, okay. No one left with me. Stuffing left the meeting. We just got done with executive session. I just can't stay long because I think I have somebody at 11 30, but thank you so much for the other day. I want to say that first. Yeah, first, and then I have a question. Is Jim on? Yeah, uh, he just left. Oh, okay. He had it done. Oh, he just split. That's okay. Life comes in the way. So, this was two things. One was just particularly for Randy. 
that on tonight, would you be, and this is like not assessing, but mm -hmm. would you be available to be? For Ways and Means? Yes, I, yeah. tonight and May 15th. Sure. Just, I'm, I just went down and asked Kelly, this is, oh. um, because I, I thought I'm not asking Angelica, but I would love your help and support for tonight. And then, yeah, and I thought with my budget changing that I should be there to answer any questions. Right, and if you give me your, if you give, if you don't mind giving me your cell phone for the, it would only, I'd never bother people at home. Oh, that's fine. But then I can say like, yours. okay, so I feel like I'm all sick. So that was that. But I had a question because I'm looking at these things and we talked about this, you and I, uh, anything that I need to do, we should be doing in that Millbrook Solar. Oh, that's what you were just talking about. Yeah, I was talking about yes. that. So we have been, you know, uh, with D. We had been talking, so D and Harold and myself. Yeah, and, uh, and she's not here, so it's weird. right. And so I just talked to Angelica in the hallway and reminded her about it because she knows from her end what's going on. And so I just said, I want to talk to somebody up here so that they know that now that I'm getting past this, that's going to be one of my oh, okay. Priorities. I just wonder if, if I was... that has to get to the finish line with D not here, then I'm going to be the running back. I love that. So. All of these team expressions. <laughs> Running back. I, I write to people all the time things like to get to the finish line. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because it actually, honestly, it's teamwork. And I'm very grateful to you for helping me tonight, for offering to help me tonight. I did very well the first night explaining everything. And they didn't have that many questions, but, you know, um, I, we're still on recording, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So I just we didn't want to ask anyway. If they had a little one, I wanted them to be able to be home. If you get what I mean. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I thought, let me ask you and um, yeah. uh, Kelly if they would just be my my backup. Well, I was leaving last week, and uh, I'll sign. We're in the parking lot. And I was like, oh my god, wait, is tonight the night of that meeting? Yeah. And it was, I think I was thinking the new growth date right. as opposed to the ways and means. So if you give Janine your, if you would give Janine your. As I might be meeting with sure. cell phone. I will not give it to anyone. I no. never abuse it. But if somebody had a question tonight that I couldn't answer, then like after you got, like after yeah, you, got, I, I could ask you or no. I could, I did I could text you too. or um, or Kelly, you know, so that you didn't have to be on all night. And I'm I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not staying, but I have somebody, I yeah. think three people were with me. Um, <laughs> you're not feeling sad <laughs> that I couldn't stay. I, I, I'm, I'm just oh, you, joking you, you're with just you. just joking, okay. Then I felt sad. We I do like, love it when you're here and encouraging us and giving us support. It's it's wonderful. But uh, yeah, we understand. We have our own function to perform. Okay. Um, yeah, and I, I was here till 8.30 last night. I believe and you. And I have a nighttime meeting this morning. I just couldn't do it this you, morning. You're the best, Jenny. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go in and apologize. <laughs> I, I got up and I said, I can't do it. So anyway, we, so we all know you're thanks. off the wall. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, of so all of your responsibilities, so taking care of Jenny is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, Get your sleep. Yeah. Today, I'm really, I'm Gotta be up there. Right. right on top. Thank you all. I really appreciate all of you. We appreciate you too. Appreciate you. That nice. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we had some exercise. Okay, that's all of the items. All right. Um, would you mind? I have, I have uh, three things to touch on in the uh, last section, the as needed new growth stuff. Um, all just quick, quick updatey things. Not um, nothing exciting. Um, I forgot one executive session thing. Oh, no. Temporarily uh, go back to exact session for a minute. Um, yeah, I move we. Reporting? I will. Where we are now. Um, I move we go into the exact session for. Uh, I move we close co public comment. For a minute. Uh, yes. <laughs> I. I second. I. All in favor. I, aye. I move we go back into exact session for a minute. I will second. All aye. in favor. Aye. All right. Pause. Let me pause. Let me uh, zoom recording. Okay, we're back. I'm signing this. Okay, can I get my three topics, then we can go? Yes. So you guys have other topics. Um, these are really just a couple of reminders and then a thing to talk about a little bit. Um, 
Did you ever hear back from Eversource? No, but I have to follow up on that. Yeah, can you bug them? No. Is that, I really do. The, the only other thing I can think of is uh, Jim and I do the same thing. We walk all over town looking for multifamilies. I feel like, uh, um, what do you call it? My, my, my uh, not fact-based impression is that there are a lot more multifamilies than we think. But maybe that's just because I'm on busy streets and that's where they are. And I know multifamilies don't assess higher, but um, I think it's going to be really important for the rest of the city government with their rental registry and all that. I really want to do that. I was distracted. What was that's it? A, it was none of it was factual. It's all just me babbling. Um, the second thing is, um, remember the uh, ex expanding exemptions? Yes. Uh, with the little updates for the last couple of years, what they yeah. offered. Um, so are we going to offer that? Will, will you allow me to take that to the council? Yes, because that's what has to happen next is that it needs to go to the council because the council need to vote on it. Right. So if I were to prepare the information so that we can present it to the council. That's it. Yeah, and so this it. is what we're proposing. Like to so, are you are that. you having Harold or something uh, pull that together? No, no, you, you're going to do it. Um, I probably don't have the time to do it, but that's why I was asking for your input. And you actually you did a lot of the late work too, I think, because you investigate all the different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what what I don't know is how much it's going to cost. Yes, um, that's what I need. Is for each one of those exemption changes, how many people are going to qualify? How much is it going to cost us? How much is it going to cost the city if we make the change? Yeah, okay. That's what I need. All right. Okay. Well, that was, I was just asking for that. Yeah. Because we, we got to do this. We can't wait forever to yeah, do it. Yeah, right. There's a time sticking. Time sticking. sticking. Right. So um, even if it's just a wild ass estimate, just something so we can tell them, could you please add 30K to the city budget? It'll help some seniors. And it's our. Well, that really comes down to the overlay. And yes. The overlay, they're talking to us. Yes. I have input on that, not necessarily at budget time, but it's when we're um, putting in all the information for classification. Yes. And our final numbers, that's when we'll have to. Right. So we, we got to get council attuned to this in the next couple of months. Yeah. So they understand that when we do that, that we already have their approval, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just want to bring that up. So yeah. Eversource, uh, the exemption, expansion, or council relations. Yeah. Um, I don't, right now, I'm not aware of any other council relations until we start trying to prepare the materials for the classification. Right. Yeah, and, and the, the only other thing would be what Jenny, Jenny is saying. Jenny, it's Jenny. Oh, the new growth stuff? The, no, um, budget. Yeah, yeah. So our budget to get approved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I'll be participating tonight to the Make sure that uh, that we get our third position, yeah, and that you know that we get our asking questions on permit sure because things are changing. Connector and yeah, yeah, the permit module and all that. Yeah. Although that was really in Fernando's budget. So and then the the RRC, the RRC thing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure that's a separate appropriation. I think and coming out of ARPA, but if they bring it up, then I'd be right there to answer the question. I was just trying to run through what I thought that we were asking for money for. Yeah. Um, okay, my last thing, and the, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this exactly, but remember we're sure in the new growth meeting and stuff and we talk about oh, what was everybody going to do. Um, <clears throat> one thing we that I forgot to bring up, but I think is uh, I would like to is zoning. And so Eric said we already have the most inclusive zoning. It's all wonderful and terrific. OK, great. Um, but I don't know that everybody in the room knew. I don't know that Eric knows um, that some zoning changes result in new growth for multiple properties simultaneously. And so if, if we could give that idea to Eric, maybe in our next meeting, if I can bring that up. How would that pan out by changing the zoning now you can develop it or? Yeah, or, or even, I'm going to make, totally make it up, but let's say there was a neighborhood where you're not allowed to have pools just because it's owned RNP, no pool. <laughs> okay. And then let's say we decided that was dumb. Anybody can build a pool. 
Well, all of a sudden, every house that was in that neighborhood now has the possibility to add a pool, which makes the property more valuable. And the all the official guidelines say that is counted as new growth, even though there was no construction on any of those properties. Yeah, okay. So if we put some additional factor onto the land, because it would, the new growth would have to be some type of increase. So hopefully it'd be a factor that's already in Catalis. <clears throat> you just check some box, pool, no pool. It's already, yeah, I, I'm just making so, up about the pool. Yeah, but, I, I see where you're coming from. So if there's but some- Yeah, the, the, the growth would be realized when the pool went in, in that case. But yeah, there's other things that- uh, No, the growth, the way I read it, um, I'm no expert, but the, the way I read it is the growth is recognized not from getting the pool. The growth is recognized in that the property is more valuable because it's possible to pool. It put yeah, a pool. It has more potential. It's more potential. Mm -hmm. So that would be a great way if we could find any zoning change anywhere in the city that would do that. Mm -hmm. That's free, free money for new growth. Yeah, well... That's what we're trying to maximize right now. It's right. Cool. That's for sure. That's right. But that would be way easier than trying to like, you know, find some house that's being built. If Eric could make one freaking change, go up to the council, make one little change, we could book hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, that's hundreds of thousands of dollars of, or that of people them. are affected by in that wherever. So well, that yeah, every house in there is going to yeah. go up by five bucks. Because it's a hundred houses or something. It could be citywide. What about a zoning change citywide that only added a hundred dollars to every house? If value, not taxes, but value. That adds up. It would add up, right? And it takes no effort from anyone. All that has to happen is Eric says yes, and we take it to city council and they vote yes. And all of a sudden we have hundreds of thousands of dollars in new value out of nowhere. Have to do something to all those properties. Yeah. Well, we would have to yeah. pay RRG to do it or whatever. Or, your clerk B to do it, your sub clerk. Um, but, uh, you know, um, anyway, I can't be anyway. I thought we should, we should bring that up because the, the real work that needs to happen is Eric. Um, I guess, and to some extent us need to brainstorm on what zoning change it could be. And so that I think is a great thing to bring up at the next meeting too, because I, I thought that was a great idea um, to have all the players in the room and that helps everyone understand, well, oh, this is what I do. Okay, well, actually, this is how I do it or whatever, you know, get everyone clear. That was so, so great. And especially um, between you and Mark, it, it looked like there was a lot of things Mark did not know about us. Um, yeah, and, some of those, uh, yeah, I know what you're saying. And so, yeah, because he has that one property that he's like, hey, what's going on here? Well, but he, and you kind of just assume that the stuff like that isn't happening and that everything is getting done. And so the see the whole open permit thing where people are scamming us by leaving their yeah. permits open. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so it's, now I'm done. I'm doing three years of improvements because, uh, yeah. I because he didn't saying. tell you every year which permits were lagging. He didn't know. Yeah. He didn't know, and now he knows. So that's something we can change in his process. Yeah, it's well, not a big the deal. The more integration that we can get going, the better. Yeah. Anyway, those are my topics. Yeah. All good topics. <laughs> and so, yeah, we will um, work on the exemption changes, and then the bugging the EverSource financial guy. impact, but then the EverSource um, follow up. Yeah. I, I know it's going to take you some effort to do the exemption thing, but I really do think that the this political administration's priority, including me and Jenny and Jim and well, everyone else, too, is I think would support right. something like that. Master Zolo and whatever. Yeah. If we can just give a couple more bucks to a couple more seniors, it's everyone wants that. Yeah. So I know it's going to take some effort to try and assemble some kind of estimate of how many A lot seniors. of the effort is um, getting passed, and then it's just, okay, we'll make an adjustment on our end. It's just business as usual with that adjustment in place. Yeah. So I, I know it's going to take some effort to come up with those estimates, but I, I think it, it might yeah, be worth figuring out. All right. Thanks, you guys. All right. I will make a motion to close the meeting. A second. All in favor? Aye. Yes.